everybody, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something a little different, but I've been receiving a lot of messages uh, for assistance with this particular tutorial. So if you have been gifted a Cricut or you just purchased a Cricut and you have no idea how to set it up, this video is for you. In this video, we are going to open this Cricut right from the box. We're going to set it up, plug it in, and then we're going to set up the software online. When I purchased my first Cricut, it took me four months to even open the box, so I understand it's very overwhelming. So I'm going to go slow with y'all, and hopefully this will help you get started on your Cricut journey. And after this video, I plan on releasing a lot of Cricut beginner tutorials, so be sure to like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click in that notification bell, so you can receive all the notifications when I publish new videos. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. All right, so I'm working with this butte, which is the Explore Air 2. This is the Cricut that I started with. There's the Explore family, the Maker family, and now we have the cute little Joy. And if you don't know what the Joy looks like, it is this machine. I use this most often now because I use my smaller cuts because I work mostly with uh, tumblers. So if you're setting up any of your Cricut machines out of the box, even if it's not the Explore Air 2, this video is still going to help you. All right, let's first open this baby up and uh, we'll see what's inside. Let's just cut that tape on the box here and open her up. So inside of your box, you're not only going to be provided with your cutting machine, but you also have this cutting mat. This cutting mat is what's used to be placed with your vinyl or your materials whenever you cut. So just place this to the side. Don't worry about it. We'll talk about those in other videos. You should also have your package instructions. These are very important, so set that to the side as well. We'll be opening this and using these in this video. Once you remove your Cricut machine, you're going to see the cords. Those are also important, obviously, to power your Cricut. And then you have a marker here that comes with your machine. And if I remember correctly, there's a blade that's actually inside of your Cricut. I think they do that just for safety purposes so you don't cut yourself. And then I'm going to remove all of my cords. I'm going to move my camera back to my original desk with my machine and go from there. All right, my Cricut machine is uh, wrapped in plastic, so I'm going to quickly just remove this. And then I'm also going to remove the cords uh, from the plastic. Now remember these instructions, let's go ahead and open those as well. We have this Cricut Explore Air 2 booklet. This is like a manual, it kind of goes over the things that you can create, uh, the fonts, just stuff like that. So if you wanna browse through that, then uh, go ahead and keep that. We have the warranty information here. And I really like this about Cricut, it gives you that pen and these supplies and I believe it's on the website. It'll have a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Cricut. So it'll show you how to cut it, how to write on it, how to score it, and how to make a cute invitation. So that's something that's also very helpful, especially if you're getting into Cricut to do invitations or cards or anything like that. Here is what I want y'all to grab. It's their booklet. It's very simple. It says, let's get started. We're going to take out all of those squares from the booklet and it is numbered for you. So number one, unleash this beauty, turn it over, and it says plug in and power on your fabulous new Cricut machine. So we're taking the power cable, and this is one unit. This does disconnect, but keep that together. We're going to plug this into the wall. You're going to turn around your Cricut, and behind the power button, you're going to see where the power ports are one and two. After you plugged in your Cricut to your wall, you're going to plug the round in to the round one. And then your other cord is your connector to your laptop or your computer. And then you put this adapter into your Cricut machine. So now you have your Cricut powered on and you also have your cord ready to plug into your laptop or computer. Go ahead and take that cord, your computer cord, 
and plug that into your laptop. I am using a device, it's just an adapter so I can have multiple USB drives. And then we're going to hit this button right here on the, the top right hand corner. That's the power button. You're going to see it light up. You're going to hear a lot of things. It's basically like a printer. It has to have its head go back and forth. And then we're going to click this open button, which is on the bottom left. This is going to open the top and the bottom, and you can see it open very slowly. Let it do its thing. Don't force it open. You might break it. Just let it open, especially if it's new, it's going to open a little slower than whenever it's been used a little bit. So inside of the Cricut cutting machine, you're going to see two heads or two places where you can put some cutting tools or some pens. You're going to see one on the left label A and one on the right label B. The one on the left, it's for your pens, your markers, everything like that to draw. The one on the right, B, is for your cutting devices or your blades. The way I like to think of it, I don't know if they meant to do it this way, but B is labeled for blade. Simple as that. Go ahead and take your styrofoam off. And all you do to open these two cartridges or areas to store the cartridge are just opening up the flaps on the side. They do not swing open like a door, so they just become loose and then once you press them back in, it tightens right up. So let's say for A, you have your pen here. They make it very simple. Cricut has um, the arrow pointing down. You're going to open up your pen. I always put the cap on top just so I don't lose it. And then you press the pen right into place and then you snap it back. Same with the blade. It's already in, in here for y'all. You can see their blade. It's just protected in its little device here. You place the blade inside of the B, then you close it right back and it tightens the place. If you are not using your pens all of the time, make sure you remove your pen from the machine and you close it just so your inks and your pens don't dry out over time. I rarely use my pens or markers to write. I'm always using this machine to cut, so I always leave my blade just as it is inside of my Cricut machine. Now, if you see here, you have some compartments. I really like these compartments. If you are using just your pen, you can just store your pen in here or down the line whenever you purchase some Cricut cutting tools or just tools to help you with vinyl. You can also store them in here. So it makes it very convenient to store all of your tools or most of your tools right where your machine is. And if you ever buy extra blades or scoring tools, you can place your extra blades right into this compartment and store them right in your Cricut. And all of this folds up just like so using your hands. And then whenever you need it again, it just unfolds right ready to go. So let me place my blade back into my Cricut machine and show you all some more features. So like I mentioned, this is the cutting mat. So this is what I was telling y'all with the cutting mat. So it places right here underneath these grooves. So you wanna make sure that you have enough space behind your Cricut, because whenever you go to cr cut something on your Cricut, the machine is going to have its sensors on. It's going to make sure everything's lined up. So it goes all the way through the machine and then it goes all the way back. So if it does get stuck on something like this, it's going to jerk and just go right forward and tell you to, to cut your machine or uh, fix your mat on your machine. So you wanna make sure you have a clear space behind your Cricut. I wanna to try to show y'all my setup here. I have my laptop, I usually have my mouse right here, and then I have my Cricut right next to it, all here ready to go, and then I keep my uh, spatulas, all of my cutting tools right inside of my Cricut. I find that easier for me. If you want your Cricut on your right side and your laptop on your left side, make your workspace comfortable that works for you. And now changing to my laptop, I'm going to go to cricut.com slash setup. I am working with Windows, but this does work on Mac the same way. So I'm going to cricut.com slash setup, go to enter, and it's going to take you to the Cricut Design Space. Cricut Design Space is what you use to edit all of your designs with Cricut. So first you're going to click Agree. I have deleted my old software just to reinstall it with y'all. And then we're going to click Download. This is going to download the app to Cricut. Cricut is basically a cloud. They changed it a couple years ago. So you don't have this Cricut design space open through the internet anymore. It's actually an app on your devices. 
Once the download screen pops up, you're going to click open file. It's going to have an install window, light load. So mine downloaded from just that screen, but if you've never had Cricut Design Space on your laptop or PC or Mac, um, it might ask you, do you want Cricut to make changes to your device? Click yes to that. And then it might ask you another window of install and then click install. And then you'll see Cricut Design Space pop up. And you can see if I go to my home screen right here to the left, my Cricut Design Space now has a shortcut. Into Cricut Design Space, we're going to select that hamburger tool, new product setup, and then your heat press or your smart cutting machine, selecting the smart cutting machine, and then selecting the Cricut Explore family. If you do have the Explore 3, make sure you click the Explore 3 and not the Explore family. Once I clicked on that, it's going to go through um, some steps with you. Just like how I explained to y'all, make sure you have enough space while working with your machine. Plug that in, plug it into your Cricut. And then these machines, they work off of Bluetooth and they also work off of hardwired. Um, I keep my machine close to my laptop. I unplug it every single time I am finished with it. Um, so mine is hardwired. Mine's um, turned off at the moment. So let me turn it back on. So make sure you have yours turned on unlike mine. But like I was telling y'all, you can either keep yours wired like mine is, or if you have a smaller or a bigger craft room and your Cricut machine is far away and you don't want to run those cords, you can always just set it up through Bluetooth. So here is my uh, Cricut uh, Air 2, you can see I have the USB, which is my wired, and then I also have my Bluetooth. Select whichever one you are using, and you can always toggle back and forth. If you don't have your cord and you want to connect yours with Bluetooth, you don't have to go through this process again. Just don't add your cord and your system will pick up on your Cricut Design Space whenever it is powered on. Then you'll see a screen saying that it's updating, Whenever it's finished updating, your screen will have that check mark. And then you'll click next because it is up to date. And then you'll register your machine. So basically I'm registering this through my um, email. Click register and now it's successfully registered to my email. Click next and then it'll go uh, through a lot of these test cuts. What these test cuts are is just setting up your machine, making sure that it does go through. So let your machine go through these test cuts. Um, if you don't wanna do this, then you can just skip it and just kind of test it on your own. When I set this up originally, a couple years back, I did not go through these. I didn't have vinyl or anything. So I'm choosing to skip this, click okay. And now my machine is set up. You can see I have on my top right hand corner, um, I can go for my joy or I can uh, click that Cricut Explore family. It is that easy to set up your machine to your computer and into your Cricut Design Space. So here on Cricut Design Space, there's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of projects that you can do. If you go to the cricut.com slash create, that's where I'll walk you through that project that came with your Cricut. So this is as simple as it gets. I'm not going to go through Cricut Design Space with y'all on this tutorial, but I will make another tutorial to show y'all the basics and the beginner's version of Cricut Design Space. So let's move back towards our machine and get to know the machine a little better before you start using it. And one last thing I wanna go over in this tutorial are all the buttons on your Cricut machine. So we went over the power button, whenever the light is on, then your machine is on. That goes for all of the Cricut machines. We have this round button here and you can see there's a dot right here and you can select your cutting pressure. We have paper, vinyl, iron-on, light cardstocks, cardstock, bonded fabric, poster board, and custom. 
Custom is a feature that you can use on your Cricut Design Space. You'll do custom and then you'll have a drop down of other materials that they have on Cricut Design Space that you can use to cut. If you're not familiar with cutting materials, you need to use a different pressure per material. So I will use a different pressure for my iron-on vinyl than my regular vinyl or my paper. So do keep that in mind, especially if you are working from using vinyl and then going from vinyl to cardstock. Cardstock is very thick compared to vinyl. So be sure to use this tool. I change it every time I change up my materials. So from left to right, you have your load button, which is the arrow button. This button is what loads your mat and to the Cricut machine, like how I explained earlier, the mat's going to go through the machine all the way over to the other side and then come back. That's what you're going to push to have that project start scanning that cut. Then we have the middle button, which is the Cricut button, which is basically a start or go button. Once the machine has scanned all of the vinyl or your material, they know it's good to go. You then click that Cricut button. It's going to start flashing. So even if you forget to click it, you're going to notice it flashing. And then you click the button and that's when the Cricut machine is going to start cutting your materials. The last one is your pause button. This is when anytime um, you realize you started cutting the wrong material, you started cutting the wrong design, or maybe there's something wrong with your pressure points and so you're your Cricut isn't actually cutting the materials. This is whenever you'll click that pause button, the machine will instantly stop cutting right where it is. After the machine stops cutting your materials, that's when you can click this arrow button and you can take those materials out of your cutting machine. Moving over to the left side of your Cricut machine, we have this area here. This is another space that Cricut has and it lets you have all of your pens or all of your tools into another more convenient uh, spot here. We have your open button, we went over that. And then we have this area here. If you are familiar with the very first cutting machine, we use this uh, slot very often. This is basically for cartridges. Before Cricut Design Space uh, was internet webbed and then app webbed on your laptops and your computers, the way that you would buy your designs is through a cartridge and you would purchase them from the store, plug your cartridge inside of your cr uh, cutting machine, and then you would have your designs loaded and then it would cut it. Fast forward some years, we've advanced in our technology. Cricut Design Space has developed so we don't have to use this cartridge as much but on the explore air 2 they still give you that option so if you still have your cartridges or if you still want to purchase some cartridges if it's easier for you they still make that available now that i went through all the buttons on the machine cricut design space installing it on your laptop that wraps up this tutorial. If I happen to miss something or if you do have further questions, remember you can always reach me on my Facebook or Instagram at Miss Kiss Creations and you can always leave your questions in the comments and I'll do my best to answer every single question that you have. And remember this video was just to show y'all how to set up your Cricut cutting machine and how to get it started and ready for your crafts. So if you do wanna see more videos on how to work Cricut Design Space, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll get notified every time I release a Cricut Design Space help tutorial. And I will be posting a lot of hacks that I've picked up over the years on how to make your life a little easier when crafting and using Cricut and Cricut Design Space. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.